Hey everyone, so this is Maya. Um, I'm just going to be talking about how to care for a Pacific tree frog. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube that are kind of frightening, honestly, um, of how they suggest you take care of a tree frog. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys a few points and tips um, about how to take care of a tree frog. Alright, so this is my frog tank. There is my frog up there. She's a girl. She doesn't croak. Fun fact, the girl Pacific tree frogs are actually bigger than the males. Um, the males will usually have a dark patch underneath her chin. And you can see right there, she does not have a dark patch. In my frog tank, I pretty much have moss everywhere as the bedding. I find this a little bit easier to take care of just because it's live moss. Um, so you just have to water it every now and then. Um, and it provides her little places to hide. Like she really loves that back corner. She'll make a little nest out of that. Um, for her little shelter underneath there, I kind of dug out the moth so she has a little, I guess, nook under there to kind of sleep and stuff. Um, I do have a fake plant for her to climb on. I have the water dish like fake plant is in. Um, if you can kind I don't know if you can really tell. It's a little hard to tell, but... This side is shallow compared to this side. This side's a little bit deeper, and I purposely did that just so, like, she has more of an option of what she wants to do. This is another water dish I have. It's a little bit more shallow um, just for her to kind of sit in. Uh, I have fun decoration from Halloween. That's a skeleton frog, ironically. Um, but she seems to really love it. She'll sit on the head. She'll sit on the back of it um, right there. Yeah. So that is pretty much my frog tank. I also have this long plant leaf thing um, that she will sit on, which is really good because I purposely put it up high to the light so she can sunbathe if she wants to. Um, I still need to get an actual official frog tank light, but right now I'm just using my lamp. And she seems to really like it because she keeps going up to the top ever since I put um, the light in there. So yeah, that is my frog tank. I've noticed on YouTube videos of how to take care of um, tree frogs, Pacific tree frogs, um, that they really don't know how to take care of it. They, I've seen one video that they put their Pacific tree frog in a fishbowl made for betas. Frogs are frogs. They need to jump. They are not going to thrive in a little fishbowl. Need a tank at least this big just because they need room to jump. Another thing is Pacific tree frogs are not really hands-on pets. They're more just look at and enjoy um, kind of pets. They Petting them with your hand will actually probably make them sick, at least if you don't thoroughly wash your hands. It can really, really harm them because their skin absorbs everything. So it would be best to keep them in a tank like this and just kind of look at them and admire them. Um, I feed my frog probably every two weeks. And I usually give her about 12 medium-sized crickets and that's all she needs. And the really cool thing about Pacific tree frogs is, I don't know how well you can see in the back, is that when they're hungry, you can tell because they get really small and when they're still really full, they'll get pretty chubby and round. Um, I'll put a picture in at the end of this video to kind of show you guys what I was talking about. Um, I honestly think that these types of frogs, if you know how to take care of them, they are actually easier to take care of than a fish. Honestly, I think they're more low maintenance than a fish. Um, their tank is easier to clean, they're easier to feed, um, and personally I just like them better. <laughs> if you ever do get a Pacific tree frog, because they are native to Washington and Oregon. Um, they do like the moist, um, kind of damp, rainy areas. So I do suggest spraying down their cage with some water. Not too much. Don't like soak their cage. Um, just enough to kind of keep that moisture in their skin. Most of their cage should be water. So I mean, I know this looks like a lot of water and it takes up a lot of their cage, but they really do love it. Um, that's why you can usually find Pacific tree frogs around ponds and things like that. Definitely be smart to get a spray bottle that you can spray their cage down probably like in the morning and um, in the afternoon. 
I got this at a pet store that I work at. Nothing too fancy or anything like that. So, yeah, that is my tank. That is how you take care of a Pacific tree frog. Thank you for watching. Thank you.